to those who study the enigmatic figures of history of whom have worked tirelessly to help shape our world, then you will know that there is no man out there who fits this description better than the late Serbian-Croatian inventor Mr. Nikola Tesla. Essentially forming the basis of the modern world, Nikola Tesla single-handedly helped to plunge us into the new millennium and it appears that history has almost completely forgotten about him. Responsible for more than 300 patents, some still being discovered even to this day in old patent offices. So today, we will be talking about the enigmatic creator and his selfless contributions to the world. Born in the small Serbian village Smiljan, young Nikola Tesla had big dreams regarding electricity and his vision of a better and, quite literally, a brighter future for humanity. In 1884, Tesla immigrated to the United States and immediately began his work at an overcrowded shop, struggling to maintain the task of building a large electric utility in Manhattan's Lower East Side. It was this work experience that helped to elevate Tesla into his future as he became obsessed with his own work, experiments and theories. Tesla began believing in an old alchemical mysticism known as the ether. He would talk about it for length and believe that he could tap into it and use its abilities to create a future in which magical devices could exist and change the landscape and powers of humanity overall. This led to a popular quote that many people reference today, in which Nikola Tesla states, When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact it is, all things being particles of a real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles, and the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will fit in a vest pocket. With such a grandiose promise, it begged many to ask the great Nikola Tesla the most obvious question. What is the ether? Nikola Tesla believed the ether to be an invisible form of energy. He regarded it as essentially the universe claiming everything in creation to be nothing more than energy, wave and frequency. In some weird way, he was right. The advancements of quantum mechanics and the scientific golden age had yet to be made, way before even the first concepts of virtual particles became known to modern day physicists. The oscillations of the particles are known to essentially make up everything. Even the work made by Albert Einstein would prove that all matter was merely energy. It appeared that in his work and in his lectures, Nikola Tesla was well aware of this fact and sought to harness this potential power. He would claim that he believed that not only could he discover this frequency, but that he could tap into it and use it as the means to wirelessly transmit energy, communicate over vast distances and even use it to control various mechanisms and automata. He would go on to prove this theory rather quickly with his invention of remote control. Regarded as the world's first drone, Nikola Tesla constructed a small mechanical boat and built a wireless transmitter inside of the device that could tap into a specific frequency of what he called the ether, that we now know in the modern day as the electromagnetic spectrum, or more specifically, radio waves. He then built a remote control device that could manipulate the boat and cause it to move around and float on the water as if it were a fully manned crew. To demonstrate his creation, Nikola Tesla took his boat out to the electrical exhibition in 1898 and made a powerful demonstration that drew a crowd from all around. He placed the boat into a nearby pond and told the crowd that the boat had a bunch of tiny people inside that could hear them and so the crowd began shouting commands that could change the boat as the tiny people supposedly listened. Of course, Tesla had the remote control in his hand as many people came out to see this spectacle. After the demonstration was over, Nikola Tesla then told the crowd that there was not any tiny people inside and that he controlled the boat using nothing more than electricity and the control over the ether. Upon hearing this proclamation of mysticism, many of the people in the crowd claimed the whole event to be a hoax and forced Tesla to open the boat to prove there was not any tiny people inside. When he did, the crowd was even more baffled at the idea of the ether and believed that the Serbian inventor had control over magic and telepathy. Though this demonstration was a success in regards to attracting the attention of a crowd and proving the legitimacy of Tesla's theories, 
It was seen as a failure in the eyes of the creator as the people around him failed to believe his claims and regarded it as nothing more than magic and mind control. It was obvious that Tesla was far ahead of his time, but this realization did not discourage him as he quickly worked to develop a new technology with a higher degree of practicality that would allow him to grow his theories of the ether and tap into wireless communication over a vast distance. This was accomplished by his creation of the radio. History has provided the credit of the creation of the radio to the wrong man, believing that Marconi was the person who first created the radio and tapped into radio waves. But this is hardly the case. In fact, Marconi stole the design and invention of the radio from Tesla himself. When Marconi journeyed to the United States as an immigrant, Nikola Tesla believed the man to be in a similar situation as he once was years ago, and wanted to help him out believing that Marconi would make a great friend, a partner. Marconi was also a huge fan of Nikola Tesla and was eager to work with him right away. Taking Marconi at his word and trusting the man, Nikola Tesla then provided Marconi with the key to his laboratories and told him that he would have full access to the space, his personal notes and his current inventions, believing that by granting Marconi time to familiarize himself with his work, then they could begin working on newer and better ideas as soon as possible. The effect of what Tesla had done did not dawn on him until he was at a lecture hall and became aware of Marconi having fled the United States and stealing Tesla's invention of the radio and the notes that accompanied it. Marconi then coined the term and the public, unable to accept the ideas of old mysticism and the nature of the ether, quickly grappled onto these new scientific terms to explain a phenomenon that Tesla had already worked eagerly to explain. And though Marconi made a tremendous profit from these designs and would go on to be remembered by history as the inventor of the radio, Tesla was not deterred with his mission and so continued his work to prove the validity of the ether and change the world for the better in his understanding of the nature of the universe. This began with his creation of the Tower of the Wardenclyffe. Being funded by this time by the banking investor John Pierment Morgan, also known as JP Morgan, Nikola Tesla was essentially offered a nearly limitless fund of investment backing to create what he, himself, described as the connection of the global mind and the prediction of the modern-day Wi-Fi. He believed that he could create a form of wireless electricity that could tap into the ether and power everyone's devices so long as it had a built-in transmitter to receive the massive amounts of wireless energy. He planned on building a massive tower to bounce off a sufficient amount of energy off of the ionosphere of the planet and tap into the massive amount of energy stored in the electromagnetic field surrounding our planet and meet the energy needs of everyone around the world free of charge. As his tower was nearing construction and the fruit of his work and theory was within his grasp, JP Morgan, his investor, called for an emergency meeting with Nikola Tesla to discuss a problem that had arisen. John Pierpont Morgan became aware of the fact that Marconi had stolen Nikola Tesla's designs of the radio and other various patents and was made furious by this. As his investor, Morgan was far more concerned with profit than Tesla and was already incredibly annoyed with the massive amount of money he had poured into the inventor with nothing to show for it. When Morgan threatened to cut Tesla's funding, the inventor found no other way to satiate the man than to show him the tower and tell him what he was working on. Tesla claimed that it does not matter that Marconi stole the designs since his new invention would change the world, that the tower of Wardenclyffe would be able to tap into the power of the ether and be able to grant free electricity to every individual around the world. After hearing this proposal, JP Morgan then turned to Nikola Tesla and said, where'd you put the meter? When Tesla asked him what he was talking about, JP Morgan inquired that how were they supposed to charge people for the electricity if it was free? Tesla then replied and said, we would not, anyone would be able to tap into it as long as they had a transmitter. After hearing this sentiment, Morgan completely cut off all funding to Tesla and told him that he was not going to help him fund an idea that is completely unprofitable. It appears that Tesla was the man born in the wrong era. His work was left unfinished, his tower destroyed and ended up dying penniless and alone in a hotel room. His work left behind has helped to lay the foundation of a better world, no doubt. But had the world been ready for his gifts, much more could have been accomplished with ease. 
But what is your opinion of the late Serbian-Croatian inventor Nikola Tesla? Be sure to let us know by posting your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this wonderful community and help us work to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.